All right, here we go. Sample of the self-driving on a 2024 Honda Ridgeline using the Kama Open Pilot AI. And here's the hardware that I'm using. This is what self-drives the vehicle. And it's on a two-lane highway right now going by itself, okay? It stays pretty straight. It's really good for straightaways, to be honest. Um, <clears throat> that's what I use it most of the time for. It does take corners pretty decent as well, and I'll show you as it as we approach some curves and things like that but lane lines are looking pretty good over there on the left it does sometimes it hugs the right um, um not too bad right now it's doing pretty good on the right side so you kind of see it over there on the lane lines you know it's not too bad it's not hugging it too bad right now um <clears throat> works good on a, a two-lane freeway like this so just want to give you guys a sample of the self-driving honda ridgeline 2024 and it's working good it's an easy setup for the uh, comma 3x as well um just pretty much plug and play uh, you got to download some software on it, but otherwise it works really well and really good. Here comes a turn here. It's going to turn to the right, so this will give you a good demonstration. It actually, the road's pretty curvy up there. It's kind of hard to see, but it's turning the steering wheel pretty decent, going the speed limit about 51 miles per hour, 50 miles per hour. Did that pretty good. It's going to do another left corner here, left curve here coming up. So always be aware and ready at all times just in case it does beep and warn at you but sometimes you just have to take the wheel before it gets to that point um but that was the left curve here comes actually a pretty good right curve so i'll be curious to see how well this does i might have to help it out depending on how well it does but it seems like it's performing pretty good it didn't need my assistance i'm going uh, 50 miles per hour here So definitely give it a thumbs up. Um, hope you like it. I do recommend the Comma 3X. I drive a 40,000 miles a year plus on my vehicles. So um, it's really nice for me to have this self-driving stuff. You know, my wife thinks that it, it's better not to and it makes you tired and sleepy. But for me, it does the opposite. It gives me more energy. I feel more refreshed as a driver having a self-driving unit in a vehicle so it's really cool i like doing this um, especially in a honda i don't have to buy a tesla to have self-driving um, and it's a truck as well so it did a flash where it flashed brake brake um, sometimes the sensitivity on this for the oncoming vehicles triggers it to uh, briefly kick on a warning thinking you're going to have a frontal collision or something but then it, it does go away on its own but it's just kind of a sensitivity thing i don't know it does it on uh, my ridge line uh, every so often on these two-lane highways um, even my 2023 was the, pretty much the same as well so is someone asked if the torque steering is better on the 2024 than the 2023 and honestly i think it's about the same but it's actually been doing pretty good here so we've got a right turn i'm going to turn down the speed to about 48 it's going to turn left sharp so i'm going to maybe help it yep i'm going to help it here okay so corners, curves and corners with, uh, with the arrows, like directional arrows showing which way to go, those are tight corners and those types are the ones that you need to kind of assist in. So you kind of, you kind of learn its limitations, you know, these, these self-driving things, they all have limitations in terms of how much torque steering, but some brands of cars, they do a lot better than others, um, better torque steering that is, but this right curve is pretty good no problem uh, but you always need to never trust 100 percent your life in one of these self-driving units so that one curve i assisted on um i'm going to turn it back up to 50 miles per hour here and let it keep doing its thing and um you know just like i said i hope you guys uh, like the video showing you some of this new technology and it's been around since i think 2017 or 2018 and They've really uh, improved it. Um, they've kind of had a stagnant standpoint on making it uh, more autonomous. Um, but for its intended purposes, especially freeway driving and things like that, it, it's really nice and relaxing. So um, you 
get to uh, enjoy the ride a little bit better for this uh, trip for any trip for that matter so hope you appreciate it i'd appreciate a thumbs up as well thanks guys here we go again more video footage of using the comma 3x there and it's doing its self-driving thing my hands can hang out over here while i'm chilling we've got a pretty sharp left curve here and i may have to assist it so i'm ready if i have to um we'll see how well it does going 60 miles per hour on this sharp curve to the left it's doing it it's doing its thing so far pretty impressed maybe the torque steering is better than the 2024 honda ridgeline so um yeah that was pretty successful and um we're gonna have another slight curve here to the right as well so you can take a look at that as it's doing its thing the lane lines are over there again it does like to hug the right side a little bit so um, i hope you guys like the demonstration of some of this new cool technology and i've had the original comma too when it first came out in 2018 and I put it in my 2017 Toyota Prius uh, Prime and it worked out pretty well for the Prime um, I got a lot of use out of it because I drive a ton of miles every year but the Prius I've got 190,000 miles and I had that for like since brand new in 2017 um, but I was driving a ton in that Prius as well um, Right now I've got a newer 2024 Honda Ridgeline. I've got only 500 miles and I'll show you here in a second, but it's got a pretty sharp left curve um, here coming up. <clears throat> but it seems to be able to handle these curves pretty well going at the uh, speed limit, speed limits, um, 54 miles per hour right now going on this curve and it's turning it, it's turning it pretty good. So, uh, yeah, I wish uh, Comma would sponsor me because I just use it so much. Um, it's just the standard software that Comma offers. So you buy the hardware, you download the software, and there's other options of different types of software to download. Um, other developers have created different, have customized their um, self-driving using the software. You can apparently do that. I'm not into that stuff. I just kind of download the regular um, self-driving software which works really well for me so um, yeah um, here's just more footage and video of, of it self-driving I just wanted you guys to be able to see how well it does and taking these curves and and operating here on two-lane highway it works really well on the freeway as well um, especially if you've got multiple lanes um, if you're in the left lane or the middle lanes on a freeway and stuff like that um, it stays more centered uh, but when you're in the right lane, it does like to hug to the right a little more, um, which I guess I'm kind of used to it. But you kind of need to be mindful to things that are on the right side of the freeway. Um, if there's like, you know, uh, vehicles on the right side of the freeway or emergency vehicles or, or you know, trucks or delivery trucks or things like that. Um, you just have to be mindful of all that at all times and you always should be no matter what no matter what kind of technologies that we use for self-driving to or to improve um aid us in in these driving habits and whatnot so um it's taking these curves really well you know i'm gonna you know you guys can speed this up as as needed um it's telling us to go 35 in this construction zone and it's got a curves and stuff so it's slowing down it and the nice thing is that it it, it does the braking on its own um, and uh, I do like it a lot when it's doing that and I don't have to keep my foot on the brake of course if there's something emergency like an emergency braking or something um, you want to slow down it does uh, tend to um, uh, flash you know emergency so and we're entering a super long uh, bridge. This is like a really long bridge, but it's a complete straightaway, so it's really easy for the self-driving thing to operate on this straight bridge. It's um, really long um, up here in, in uh, Washington. Went to go visit Port Townsend and um, had some friends up there, so um, yeah, it's uh, it's awesome. I've got, um, let's see, I've got five So this is 
is a pretty new vehicle. I picked it up uh, like a week and a half or two weeks ago. Um, and I have driven it without the comma um, hardware, self-driving hardware. And it does work. It's just it does ask you to hold the steering wheel a lot more. It's like, hold the steering wheel, grab the steering wheel. Um, it, it, you know, it just wants you to be more, I think, alertive. Uh, or in tune with the vehicle and nothing's wrong with that but at the same time it was kind of annoying so that's why I installed the comma um, as soon as I uh, got the vehicle as well and I used it in my 2023 um, Honda Ridgeline before I upgraded it to my 2024 Ridgeline worked great on both vehicles no issues um, at all on both. in a quarter mile turn left onto Washington 104 East yeah. Northeast State Highway 104 so one of the things I also like about the um, Kama 3X is that it does work really well, even in raining conditions. Um, however, I do use uh, something equivalent to um, Rain-X on the windshield, and it's slowing down by itself right now. Speed limit's 25 coming up, and all these vehicles are slowing down, and it slows down for you, which is really nice. Um, so, yeah, I use like a Rain-X type. It's actually called Aquapel. A Q U E P E L Aquapel, and it's expensive, but it lasts for quite a while. Like the Rainex, when you put it on, it's good. It works really well. It's especially good for the side windows and the rear windows um, because there's no windshield wiper uh, on it, and the windshield wiper using it kind of um, uh, rubs it off faster, so it doesn't last quite as long. I'm going to help the vehicle here because you got to turn left on a sharp right turn. And it's gonna need my help so I'm gonna grab it hold on to it it may even turn off I don't know because sometimes at lower speeds there it goes it uh, open pilot canceled it's too low of speed um, and then you have to re-engage it so that's one thing that is annoying is that it only it, it doesn't like to work at below 25 miles per hour so um, yeah that's kind of a bummer in my Prius it did in my Prius, it would work pretty well almost in stop and go, or at least close to stopping. Um, it wouldn't shut off. So it depends on what vehicle you put the comma in. Um, in term, and, and it affects how it, how it works as well. So that's one thing that's really fascinating and interesting. So as the vehicles are all speeding up, it's you know, picking up speed. Um, it does the same, you know, self-driving. And I like that. It does its own acceleration. And it, it paces itself pretty well, and you can make adjustments here on, on the, the pace, the distance. You can you can adjust the distance and how close it, it gets to these other vehicles. Um, and uh, that's one thing I do like about this. In the Prius Prime, with a comma, um, it just set one distance, essentially. Um, you didn't really have a choice on that, but in this one, you do. So that's kind of nice. Um, <clears throat> and... Uh, what else um you know it's it's super comfortable relaxing just being able to kind of kick it enjoy the ride um but you got to supervise it of course you know um you really do you never want to put your life completely in these hands and everything has its limitations and nothing will ever be able to deal with all the variables in driving you know you've got all sorts of crazy var variables that you cannot control other drivers as well you know you got to be mindful of that um but if you're able to do all that then you can stay really safe again i've used this comma 3x um for a long time since 2018 i believe and they have made pretty good improvements if i look away too long this thing will freak out um so it does watch your eyes and <clears throat> there's the picture of the head. Oops. Right there. Kind of, it's there when it sees my face, it'll, it'll show it. And if I cover it, it'll start beeping and freak out at me for not being able to see my eyes or, or something. Um, but it just stays pretty straight. It does, this one's hugging to the right more. My left is like that. It gives you a pretty decent space on the left side. For vehicles to pass um, for me personally i'm okay if it's a little bit more centered but i'm okay if it's hugging to the right especially on these two lane highways as well it just kind of gives you that little extra buffer of safety 
Um, but always good to just be mindful of everything. So you're, you know, you're watching the curves. You're watching it take a turn right there. It says take control. This was a pretty fast going 55 on the right. I mean, 55 curving to the left. <clears throat> so I took control over there. And it does say take control, but you kind of need to be more mindful and do it before that, before it gets to that point. Because um, sometimes it's almost too late when the warning sign comes that says take control. Um, but yeah, that was an example of, okay, it's exceeded its limitation going that fast around a curve at that speed. Um, so you got to be mindful. But otherwise, here we go.